the marketplace currently today for exact software is opening up into a whole new um, paradigm for us in so much as the applications that we develop ourselves um, touch every person and organization, not your traditional um, accounting and manufacturing solution. Uh, and the potential for that application to integrate with non-exact, if you will, um, back office solutions, but integrate with other industry solutions such as your SAPs and PeopleSofts and so on, um, presented us with a huge opportunity to um, integrate with those applications. And obviously, one needs tools to perform that integration um, quick, efficiently, and in a, a cost-effective uh, cost manner. Exact went through a fairly extensive um, evaluation process um, in, in the market space, looking at the needs of our uh, potential customer base. So we looked at uh, organizations like Tibco and Business Objects were two to name, but we looked at them from a price performance perspective, a technology perspective, and the, what our current market is going to expect from a simple solution rather than a complex enterprise bus type architecture. Exact Software's had a very, very long relationship with Pervasive. So coming to Pervasive and working with Pervasive was a very easy thing. First of all, um, the long relationship on the database side of the applications for many, many, many years. Um, and so we're basically an incumbent, if you will, partner with Pervasive. Um, and then the decision then to continue with Pervasive was predicated on the ease of doing business with Pervasive and the tool sets that are provided and the vision and strategy going forward from Pervasive are very much in line with our target market and what our customer base and potential customer base would expect from an organization like Exact and Pervasive. When we sat down to work out what integration solutions should be, the team first of all included Pervasive as part of that team. Um, uh, we, need to, we need to pass information backwards and forwards to uh, traditional accounting and manufacturing solutions. So typically, it is your usual suspects of customers, suppliers, financial transactions, inventory items, people, uh, documents need to go backwards and forwards between a back office solution and our Synergy Enterprise or Synergy application, which is the front office browser-based tool set. So those items go backwards and forwards in a bi-directional manner in a near real-time basis. The data volumes that we tend to come across vary across every single industry and company. Our target market ranges from your $5 million business to $250 million business. That means our volumes are going to vary. But we typically see organizations at the high end with some 14,000 different named customers um, and maybe 28,000 items. And those things would go backwards and forwards on a daily basis. And transactions, um, those can be millions a day uh, on a batch basis. But it will vary across segments for us. The, further, the challenges that one had to um, address, first of all, was a real understanding of what integration really means and what the challenges are of integration. And one of those key components and challenges we will still have to overcome going forward is the accuracy and cleanliness of the data going backwards and forwards. So in developing the tool sets and maps, um, we had to build in uh, the foresight that customer's data and make the assumption that customer data is not going to be accurate and build in cross-reference cross tables um, to make sure it goes in and out on a clean, consistent basis. That was predominantly the biggest challenge we had. One of the unexpected surprises was the, the, the huge performance increase that we had. We having tried these tools and so on before in looking at applications, um, we had some performance issues in the past, hence one of the reasons looking for industry standard tools to do it for us. And the increase in performance and robustness of that performance was a very pleasant surprise for us. Um, there were no untoward surprises that we came up across again, against. Um, the time to market was also very quick. That was a big surprise. We didn't have anything before. This is a, a first time effort for us. However, we did try and attempt to build a, such a, a data transformation tool ourselves. So if one compares the before and after with our own attempted tools, this is a way, way f more superior process and application than we did before. Uh, if the plumbing in your house breaks, get a plumber. Don't try to do it yourself. Get the professionals in. First of all, it's not just for integration applications between our native tools. It provides um, our customer base and our channel. We have a multi-tiered uh, distribution system. Our channel can also leverage the tools to um, bring data in from other sources as a tool set. Um, 
the application as well from a benefit perspective is, is that the performance is very, very fast. And it also offers for us down the road a future vision with it as it relates to web services and the use of APIs. Um, so we'll investigate all those different technologies so we have a phased approach we can walk and segue nicely into the vision of the pervasive tools. And that's a huge benefit knowing where you're going before you start. The primary aspects that, that benefit us as the exact and the customer base and, uh, of the data profiler and the data uh, integrated tool sets are cost price performance for the application, um, suits our market, target market very, very, very well. Um, we can leverage those tools and we have the use of the tools for any other type of data integration. We don't have to limit it to our own particular application so we can open up new markets with our Synergy application set. I don't know there's anything that one <coughs> could really do better. Um, the relationship that we've had specifically from Exact's perspective with Pervasive, particularly in the last 18 months, has been very close, very professional. Um, I'm not altogether sure there's anything that could really be improved at this point in time. I'm sure there may be. Um, we, may, we could improve and probably Pervasive could improve, but right now I couldn't tell you if there's anything negative at this point. And that's not a paid-for commercial. <laughs>